master class today on this Thursday the 19th, almost Friday, so hang in there. We have a lot to do, like always. So whether you love this class, hate this class, glad you're taking the video class, or totally regretting it, um, you know, Mr. Earhart, we try to move on and cover as much math as possible because that's what's right to do, okay? We're, I'm trying to give you a good education in math. That's very important. There will be a quiz tomorrow. We'll talk about that a little later. You have nothing to turn in. There was no homework given to you yesterday. Incompletes. Um, let's see. Now, Libby, you're doing fine, Libby. You turned in a lot of stuff, but you did not turn this assignment in. I checked. Now, one thing that's a little interesting, there was one assignment you told me you had done, so I went in and give you credit for it, but then you turned it in yesterday, so I'm not sure. I just don't want you to be confused and think it was this assignment here, okay? So look at the papers that were passed back to you today, and you're not going to find this assignment in there, okay? So you do owe me this one by tomorrow, and then quiz, unless you contact me by Friday. Now, remember, Libby, <coughs> Miss Carol has this quiz, so when you're ready to take it, you ask her for it. Okay, and then this was given on Tuesday. Grant and Libby did not get it from you guys. Um, I collected it yesterday. Okay, so just so you know, all of this must be turned in by Friday, um, or they will become permanent zeros. Okay, so please um, make sure you stay on top of that. Now, um, listen, guys, I don't care if you're absent one day or many days. Um, the first day you come back, if we're taking a test or a quiz, you will take it unless you pre-contact me. Um, like Abigail did, and like Grace's dad did when they were out for a while sick, okay? <clears throat> Do not get behind when you're absent, okay? Stay on top of your videos. Today we're going to be working on homework, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. The homework that is due tomorrow is, um, uh, there it is. <clears throat> I'm not going to read it to you. It's about 30 problems, which is, I mean, that's normal, guys. I'm giving you the whole class period to work on it, so you'll probably get, you should get almost all square the top, that's 4, square the bottom, that's
that's nine. So we're gonna add four nines to both sides. Man, I hope <coughs> those that missed this on the quiz are watching this. If not, I don't understand that. I really don't. Okay, so we add four nines to both sides. Now, using a calculator or doing it in your head if you want to, one third plus four nines will give you seven nines. Okay, now next I've taught you to factor the left side. That's a seven right there. All right, now the square root of x squared is x, put it here and here. The square root of four nines is two thirds. The square root of four is square root of nine. Put that here and here. And then whatever this middle sign is, put it here and here. Okay, next, your two parentheses should match. So next, what I've taught you guys to do is to write the matching parentheses as one with a power of two. Okay, then next I said, take the square root of the left side. Anytime you take the square root of something squared, the square root and the squared cancel out and you're left with this right here, the base. But if you take, but if you take the square root of one side, you must take the square root of the other side. Don't forget the plus minus. That's where a lot of you missed points on your quiz. Now, bring the two thirds over and make it negative, okay? So positive, negative, square root of seven ninths minus two thirds. Now it looks like you're done, but hold it. Look at your square root. Remember, the square root of seven ninths is the same thing as the square root of seven over the square root of nine, okay? Well, we know the square root of one of these. Which one is it? This one. So really, this can become a three. So the square root of seven nines should have looked like this. The square root of seven nines should have been plus minus square root of seven over three. Because we know the square root of nine is three minus two thirds. Now that's how it's done, okay? I hope that helps. If I went too fast, back it up, watch it again, pause it, but that's how you work this out, okay? All right, moving on. Um, now let's talk about your quizzes tomorrow. If you'll listen carefully, I'll tell you exactly what's gonna be on the quizzes. Number one, I'm gonna have you solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yes, you will have to have it memorized. Number two, um, any of the problems on tonight's homework, any of these are fair game. I'm going to go over it again with you. Tomorrow's quiz, I will give you equation or equations in which you solve them by using the quadratic formula. Number two, any of the problems off of this are fair game. Please, please study. It'll be a challenging quiz, okay? All right, test corrections are due tomorrow. Please don't forget that. Test corrections are due tomorrow. Those that missed the quiz, um, Miss Carol has that. Um, make sure you take it by tomorrow. And I hope, you're easy, I hope you used your easy day yesterday intelligently. You know, I mean, look, I know Michael Long owed me a lot of stuff from the play. Maybe he worked yesterday, maybe he didn't, but I'm proud of him. He's turned everything in, I believe. He's turned everything in, he's all caught up, I believe. Um, uh, and you know, some of you really had stuff to do. I hope you took advantage of that, okay? If you didn't, that's just not a wise decision of your time, okay? And by the way, I'm not saying that you had to work on math. I'm just saying, I hope you did something productive. That's all for today, students. Please get to work on your homework and test corrections. Have a great day. Contact me if you have any questions at all.